Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a favorites video. I love doing these videos because I always have like things that I want to talk about that sometimes don't fit into my regular videos. Um, and so I feel like this is like a really good way of just compiling everything in my life that I'm loving at the moment. And so this is kind of like the beginning of winter favorites um, or December favorites, whatever you want to call them. Um, but really it's like, I think, I don't think I did one in November, so it's kind of combined. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I have a few things for like fashion related things because I feel like I was trying to pick things that I don't talk about all of the time, which is very hard because I feel like I'm very repetitive in what I like and what I speak about and show and stuff. So I tried to um, narrow it down to just like things I've been really, really, really loving. And so, we have this Paloma wool sweater, which as I just said that, like, oh, it's stuff I haven't talked about this. I've probably worn three times out of the last five days. Um, so yeah, this one is just, I don't know what it is about it, but it's so soft and cozy and I just love the design. I think it's so simple and minimal and it goes with so many different things, but it's just so cozy. Um, I have one other Paloma wool sweater. I just don't wear it as much, even though it is one of my favorite sweaters that I have in my like closet. Um, I just don't like find different ways to wear it that often because it's I just think it's pretty loud and harder to style because you just kind of style it with like an easy pair of pants or whatever so that it like keeps focus on the sweater but this one I feel like it's really easy to just wear with anything all neutrals blacks color at the same time you can wear it with but in general Paloma wool sweaters are very 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 nice this one I got from the lobby and I believe they're still in stock Paloma wool is sold at a few different places and I feel like depending on where you go if they're out of stock in stock um, they go in and out very quickly. But I think that this one is still on sale and I think that the quality is unmatched. It feels so luxurious and nice. And again, it's just super easy to style and I've been loving it, so. Okay, next up we have balaclavas. I have three, well, these two are, I think are technically balaclavas, I don't know. I've heard different words. I've heard snoods, I wanna say. I've heard balaclavas, I've heard knit hoods. Um, and these are my like actual, I think they're definitely called balaclavas, where they're like a little hood that goes over your head. It keeps you so warm and cozy. Um, I didn't think at first I was going to like them as much as I do, but it's so practical. I definitely used to wear them when I was younger and it brings me back and I love it so much more now. And it's just like, again, so practical keeps me so warm. This one is from Zara. It's new. I like it because it's reversible. Um, well, I don't know if it's actually reversible because of the tag in this thing, but I would definitely wear it reversible because, you know, the colors. Um, that way, like double the product, you know? Um, and then this one, I love this one. This one's my favorite one. This one on Etsy about a few months ago, I wanna say, or a couple months ago. And it's handmade, shipped from Russia. I got, I dropped it on the floor and I'm so mad about it. Um, and then I stepped on it. <laughs> For buying a white balaclava. I didn't think about it when I was purchasing it, like makeup and that kind of thing. But either way, I love it. Took a little bit to ship and to make, but I understand because it's like, really made with love, it's so beautiful. This one I also found at Zara, and it's literally just like a little chin strapped hat because it still covers your ears and everything, so I don't know exactly what this one would be called, but I love it, I think it's adorable. Um, it's really, really, really soft. Both of the Zara ones are very soft. And this one was only $19.90, I haven't worn it yet because I still have the tags on it. But also, I just think they look really cute. I love just layering up under like any jacket. And it kind of adds like, when you have like a fun, funky one, it just adds like a little pop to your outfit. And I think it's so beautiful and fun. Um, and I like to just like wrap a big scarf around it. And I've literally been hearing like everyone talk about them. So I won't talk too much about them, um, but I am going to style them, I think in an upcoming video at some point. So that will be fun. Um, but then, Lastly, for clothing, I have these shoes from Walmart. These, they're just these slippers. Just like this faux fur slipper sandal. It reminded me of the Birkenstock sandals, which is why I bought them, but they were only $13. And they feel really, really nice. Love wearing them with chunky socks when it's not snowing or raining outside. I think they're the perfect shoe or just inside. I think they're perfect. Okay, next I have quite a few items for like my beauty and personal care uh, section. I'm actually going to start off with Dossier, who's actually the sponsor of this portion of today's video. And you guys have heard me talk about them so often because I love Love them so much. Dossier is my favorite perfume company. If you don't know who they are, they're actually a fragrance company who specializes in creating scents based off of your favorite iconic perfumes and colognes and just scents in general. Pretty much every designer fragrance that you can think of, um, they have on their site. And I have been so obsessed with these two lately. I have to show you them because this one was such a big thing about a couple months ago. I want to say in the summertime, actually, I kept seeing this perfume being talked about or fragrance. I don't know if it's whatever. And that would be the MFK's Baccarat Rouge. 540, I believe 540. And so this is Dossier's version of it. It's Ambery Saffron. You guys, I went and I smelled this as this was on the way to me. I went to the mall and I saw it and I was like, I wouldn't smell that. Um, and then I got this in the mail. I'm like, 
they literally smell the exact same. And the one at the store, I saw the price tag, I think it was about $300 for like the small version. The dossier's version is only $50 and it literally smells so good, you guys, and it lasts all day. I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good. I've been wearing it so often lately. And before this, Oriental Cherry was my favorite, favorite scent. You guys heard me every single time I would mention Dossier, I would mention my Oriental Cherry and I still love that one. But I think this one now might be my favorite for the winter. I just think it's a little bit muskier and deeper and I just love it so much. And if you guys have seen the MFK one, um, I highly recommend checking this one out if you didn't want to spend like the 300 to, I think it goes up to $500 for that one. Also, one of the biggest things I love about Dossier is if you don't like a scent, let's say, and you open it and you wear it and you're like, you know what, this is not like my with me this is like not my scent I don't really like it it's giving me a headache whatever the case may be you have 30 days to actually send it back and they actually just donate whatever they get back in the returns and I think that that's awesome because no perfume ever goes to waste and that's something that I always think about and actually sometimes why I hesitate returning certain things especially like this and the next one I have is floral violet and it's actually inspired by Marc Jacobs Daisy which was my favorite perfume in high school and I loved it so much and I used like half of the bottle so quickly but then I broke the top off of it and then I never went and repurchased it and so when I was searching the site I was like oh my god they have one for Marc Jacobs Daisy and the second I opened it I didn't even have to spray it but it like flushed around me with so many memories and like a feeling you know what I mean it's like a feeling and that's why I love fragrances and perfumes and stuff because I always always they take me back to like when I was wearing them I think these are great 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 gift ideas for anyone seriously they have men's unisex and women's perfumes and scents on there. They also have candles. It was actually my first time using one of their candles this month. And I have to say like, it's one of my favorites. We have the one, I think it's to the Victor Roth Flower Balm, which is actually one of my other favorite scents. But anyway, I'll leave all of my information down below, my discount code, everything like that for you guys to check out Dossier. Find your signature scent for winter or candle or gifts, whatever, gift for yourself, for your loved ones, anything like that. Um, and thank you again to Dossier for sponsoring. Next, I have more personal care products, more in like the beauty realm of things. So about the moisturizer, which I've been loving lately. I've been mentioning a little bit in my vlogs here and there, but it's the Boots um, Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. And this thing is so nice. I think I need another one because I'm literally probably like to here on it, but I bought it at Target. It was super inexpensive and it just works so nicely. It's very much so like a serum feeling moisturizer, which I like personally. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing doesn't leave your skin greasy, but still like leaves a glow on it, you know? Next, in conjunction with that, this is another favorite from last winter actually. And this is my Willetta Skin Food Original Ultra Rich Cream. And this I put on at the end of my skincare routine, whether it's at night or in the morning, especially under my makeup, I feel like it gives a really, really nice glow and just like base. I also bought this one at Target last winter, like I said, and I used it all of winter. I swear this thing has helped my skin so much. It's very sticky and it's very oily kind of feeling, reminiscent of like Vaseline or something like that. That, but a little bit thicker harder to spread so if you don't like that or you don't have like super dry skin I don't know how it would work for you or anything but for me I have really really dry skin um, I get like eczema patches and this always always helps me especially like I said before my makeup I put it on a really nice base I've never tried the other one of it I think that there's like a, an original like cream but this is the ultra rich one again at Target and then secondly I think this is a new release by Knot Pot um, they sent over their Oat Puff CBD eczema cream and ever since I got it in the mail I've been using it like multiple times a day um, on my whole body and then I also used it on my face one time and it was felt really nice I haven't done it since but but just in general this is a really really good body moisturizer even if you don't have eczema I think it would be really nice um, but I've recently I know I, I won't shut up about my eczema I'm sorry I sound like a broken record but I've been struggling with it a lot this year on my like legs and my arms which I normally don't have there I usually just struggle with it on my face and on my scalp um, but this has been a heaven sense, literally. I just think it is so, first of all, it smells so heavenly. It's kind of like if you were to eat like vanilla oatmeal, that's how I would describe it, um, or make brown sugar oatmeal or something. It smells really, really nice. And normally in my products for eczema, I'm kind of weary about like scents and stuff, but this hasn't caused anything um, other than like a soothing feeling. So I don't think it's bothering me specifically, um, but this does have 500 milligrams of CBD. So that might have something to do with it as well. I love Not Pot. I love them for CBD products. Um, I have another body moisturizer that I also really love, but this is a great option for in the winter. And also it's a very wintry scent. Um, I do have a discount code. I think I have 20% off or 25% off. I'll put it with the link down below. So if you wanted to try it out, um, any of their products, I highly recommend them. But also isn't the packaging like gorgeous? Um, anyway, lastly, okay, so this is for my hair. This is a hair mask. This might've been in a favorites video of the past, um, but this is the Eva NYC Therapy Session Hair Mask. It's powered by plant protein and argan oil, no sulfates, parabens, or um, flaflates. <laughs> I don't know. 
100% recyclable, vegan, and cruelty free. And that's not even the half of it, you guys. The second I open this thing up, it smells so good. It smells like if you were at the hair salon, that's in my opinion. But aside from the smell, first of all, it leaves the scent on your hair, which I love. Second of all, it doesn't take that long. Like when I'm sitting in the bath, I'll put it in for like 15 minutes and I, I don't think my hair ever looks as good as it does once I use this and then I blow it out after. It just looks and feels really smooth and silky. I found this at Target, by the way. Um, I've tried other Eva NYC products and I like them as well, but this thing, so good. Probably the best hair mask I've ever used so far. Okay, next for hair, I actually have this brush. And I use this brush specifically to do like my slicked back ponies or buns or whatever that I've been doing lately. Uh, I've just been wanting like my hair and my bangs out of my face lately. And so this gives me like the best, smoothest hair look that I've ever had. This just easily smooths my hair back with like no bumps or anything and also makes it look shinier. I don't know if that's a thing that this is supposed to like do, um, but it's by Goodfellow. It's actually from like the men's section of Target. And this is what it looks like. It's like a boar hair brush. One side is very short and like stiffer and then this side's very much like softer and easier to just like maneuver things But if you want it really really smooth like on my edges whenever I smooth this part of my hair back I use the shorter side and then the rest I use like the longer side if that makes sense uh, But I just highly recommend this if you are looking for something to smooth your hair back because it's dual sided It's so nice just so nice. Also, I think it's really pretty I mean, sorry It looks probably disgusting when you're looking at it because I tried to clean it off But like I use like a lot of hairspray with it and so it probably gets a little bit gunky and well definitely gets a little there's no probably it definitely gets gunky I won't show you um but anyway yeah I love this then next I have hair clips which have been like probably the only hair clips I've been using lately um because I love them so much these are actually by chunks I believe the name is yes chunks a few of you guys recommended to me on Instagram and they're first of all the cutest ever second of all the best clips that I've ever used they are so sturdy and like hold my hair very tightly in and also hold a lot of my hair like I've hair and shorter right now so it's kind of hard for me to fit it in a clip without it like going all over the place and these help so much next we have like home products I only have like a few things for the home um, but these things I thrifted actually and this thing okay, so this is technically an ashtray right and then this I don't know what this is I think it's just like a bowl or something and the reason I'm showing you is because I literally have these kind of things and bowls that I thrift all over my house especially ashtrays I just have laying all over but I use them if you can see my rings in there I love having them to put my jewelry in like whenever I just am sick of my jewelry and I like to have a spot for them so that they're not just like sitting somewhere where the cats can like knock it off onto the floor or something they're in a contained area but they're also very cute and so I love finding these again at thrift stores and antique stores craft malls that kind of thing on Etsy I've seen a lot of beautiful ones and so I thought I'd mention that I have like one by my sink I have one by my bedside one by Jared's bedside one in the bathroom one in my office they just all look different and I feel like they're really cool and, and I found this one probably costs I think I want to say like $15 and this one costs I think four dollars at the thrift store and I love them so very helpful very useful and just practical for me especially useful home decor item in a way I don't know lastly I have this blanket which just look at how beautiful this is you guys this is actually from my friend Lindsay Ashton's vintage shop Adobe vintage actually here on YouTube as well I've done a thrift shop with her in the past if you haven't watched it feel free to do down below but also link that and her channel and everything um, down below but especially her vintage shop because this is where I got this um, I think it's so beautiful it's really really soft and cozy it's this vintage plaid like vintage plaid 100% acrylic um, made in Greece and I think it's so cute I love it that cats love it laying on it and I was sitting on the couch earlier and I had this over me and it was just so cozy while the snow is falling and everything. I just think it's perfect for winter. I think that they might have like a couple more blankets right now. I'm not 100% sure, but like I said, I'll link her Etsy shop and everything down below. Just in general, a plaid throw like this, I think is so nice for the winter time to add to your space. I feel like it adds an element of like coziness and texture. And I think that's what my living room was missing. Honestly, was like a pop of color, but it's still like a muted color and this texture. And I just think it's perfect. We have it on a chair in our living room or I moved it to the couch earlier today and I liked it on that as well. So um, I just love that and that's basically it for all my item items I do have like a favorite album right now and and I love it right now so I thought I would include it the 21 pilots scaled and icy album and it's so good so I thought that I would add this in if you are looking for new music highly recommend that my favorite songs on it are Mulberry Street um, formidable and choker I think that they're all amazing though um, so if you're looking for some new music to like groove to that's not holiday or Christmas music highly recommend that um, and that 
This is my last thing that I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any favorites currently, let me know down below if you have a favorite song or whatever too. I'm always, always down to hear that. Um, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Bye.